Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video lecture from Shomu's Biology. And in this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the difference between two different laws of Gregor Mendel. That is law of segregation and law of independent assortment. Okay. These two are the building blocks of the idea that we know today about uh, the inheritance. It's known as the Mendel's law of inheritance. The first law is talk like law of segregation. What was the law of segregation? Ideally, we, when you talk about law of inheritance, that means these are the ideas when we talk about the transfer of a specific characteristic from one generation to the next, from the parent to the child. So here, law of segregation means characteristics that we look for and the genes for the characteristics. Any characteristics are seg separated during the process of gametogenesis that means during the formation of gamete there is a half chance of the characters and half chance of uh, getting a specific specific trait from the father and half chance is getting the trait from the mother so it's in a very simple term we can tell it ab about a coin flip 50 50 chance of either of these things that is known as a law of segregation that means the trait and the characters for that are separated during the time of gametogenesis that means you know normally what happens normal body cells are 2n number of nucleus containing cells now during the type of gametogenesis it can either form sperm or egg right from the mother it will form egg from the father it will form the sperm now what happens during the formation of sperm which is a gametogenesis during this part they can get either of these genes for example let me tell you Let's say an individual have the genotype X and Y. Okay, this is the genotype, for example. So during the time of this this transfer or gametogenesis, they can separate this either Y or this small Y. Right? Because if this is the 2N that is present inside that organism during the formation of gamete they can either transfer the capital Y or small y. For example, the capital Y is for yellow, small y is for the green. So if we are looking for the coloration of let us say uh, the flower, say one is yellow another one is green. In that case transfer during the type formation of gametes they will transfer that either y or small y. If they receive the capital Y there will be yellow color if they receive the small y green color. So this is a segregation and this is possible for the mono hybrid cross it is only possible for the trait for one trait that we are looking for okay this this law applicable for, for a single trait that we look for. On the other hand in case of independent assortment we are talking about more than one characteristic more than one trait two or more than two traits. At least two traits will be required for applying this independent assortment law. And Mendel is telling if we are relying on two different characteristics during the process of gametogenesis, those two characteristics will not influence one another. That is the idea of independent assortment. That means they will be transferred to the next generation without any interaction or any uh, like uh, link between the themselves. So they will not influence anything. For example, if we take two characteristics, let us say one characteristic is the height of the plant that could be tall or short. Okay, That is tall is capital T, capital T, short is small t, small t. The second thing, let us say the second character is the color of the flower. Okay. It could be that same thing, let us say yellow, little y, white, small y, for example. Okay. So, let us say these are the situations. So, what happens here? It says that during the formation of gametes, there, if there are two different traits we are talking about, the, tra the inheritance of two different traits, none of the traits will influence the other they will segregate completely independently without any influence on another at at all. For example, here what happens here, let us say these two types of genes are present in one cell. So, let us say in one DNA we have a capital T, capital T, uh, capital Y, capital Y, 
okay or in the other sense like we have a capital T capital T small y small y okay uh, let us see in other we have a capital T small t capital y uh, small y capital y for example. So, what happens here in all these segregations during the cell division these are all chromosomes we are talking about all there have chromosomes here during the segregation we will segregate either this or this set this or this set right. So, we get capital T capital Y if we segregate here if we segregate capital Y small y capital T small y or cap small t capital Y. So, you see different types will generate, but none of them are linking. For example, the, 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 the height of the plant will not influence the color of the plant. Okay? That means, if the plant is taller, it is always going to be yellow, nothing like that. The separation whether it is going to be yellow or white, it is the rule of segregation, it is a coin flip, it could be yellow or white whether the plant will be tall or short again a separate entity again separate segregation method again a coin flip it could be a tall or short tall necessarily not necessarily mean yellow or tall not necessarily mean white or yellow not necessarily mean short so nothing is combined or can we can't say anything that is combined both this because these two traits will not interact each of the traits behave like according to the law of segregation itself so, we can get a lot of different combinations possible from there. Okay? So, that is independent assortment according to the Gregor Mendel. So, segregation during the formation of gamete, they will be definitely separated. Two traits will not be common and stay together. They will be separated. Okay? And in independent assortment, if there is more than two characteristics, one character will not influence the effect of other character. Right? So, this in a sense is law of segregation and independent assortment. I hope I help you to understand this concept. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.